Hello there guest designer Katie Reid here and today I am going to be showing you how to create this necklace. So I'm going to go through each of these steps to create this final necklace look. So first what we're going to do is we are going to take our 8.8mm wire that you get in the kit and we are going to literally you can do this off the reel if you want to but I'm just going to take some of this just to show you how to use the wire crinkler tool. Now on our crinkler tool here, can you see just here there's a little, a little hole there. That is where we're going to pop our wire. So we're just going to get our 0.8 wire and this is perfect for 0.8 and 0.6 if you have 0.6. And I'm literally just going to pop that straight through to there and as you can see I've kind of taken it beyond the cogs so it's sitting just inside there and then all I'm going to do is I'm going to take the tool and it is literally just going to crinkle my wire as I'm running it through as you can see just up here so I'm literally just taking the wire and just running it through the two cogs as they have their opposite sides so you've got your mountain and your valley and they're literally just creating the crinkle so we now have our crinkled wire and that is with the beadle on wire crinkler tool for demonstration purposes i've literally just cut one of those in half just so then it's a little bit easier for us to see so I've cut that in half so we've got our two elements here but we need something for the hematite to um, anchor onto now we're going to bind these together with our point four wire and I'm just going to leave the tiniest little bit of a tail and if I come up to towards the camera you can just see here I'm just going to wind around ten times now we've got our ten coils around the wire I'm just going to leave this it's always nice just to leave a little tail just so then you've got um just a little bit of something to hold on to just there then what we're going to do is we're going to take our first crinkled piece of wire and where the end of your 10 wraps meet just up here where the end of your 10 wraps meet we are going to wrap around this valley just in here not the mountain we're going to go into the valley pop that on the other side and our wire is out is popping out the back just there so as you can see now we've got all of that together and we can hold that together with our index finger and our thumb and then I'm going to wrap around three times one always making sure that your wires do not cross over or um, kind of bunch up too much but don't worry if they do because I'll show you something in a second that's just going to sort that out two and three try not to be too tight with your wraps at the beginning because obviously you've got a lot of loose wires here and that is going to um, affect it but once you've done that you can then just pop in with your pliers and give that a little bit of a squeeze and as you can see just there it's kind of flattened everything out so as you said it's still a little bit you know we're not as um, binded together so I'm now what I'm going to do with the point four is lift that straight up and wrap it once and wrap four times two in the center three and four always finishing with your smaller wire to the back of your work so now we're going to take one of our hematites just here and this is really nice because they've got a really generous dr drill hole and they will literally just slide straight onto the point eight which is really really nice so now we can just bunch that right up to the weave that we've just done there so we've got that to the weave there and because our wire is at the back of our work I'm just going to hold the cube with my thumbnail, bring that round and then wrap four more times. So then that has literally encased that into our work. So one, two, three and four. 
So as you can see now, we've now come to our valleys. So this is the work in the mountains. We're now in the valleys there. And I'm going to wrap one, two, and three. And if you want to, pop in with your pliers. Give that a little bit of a squeeze there. And then finish with your wire at the back of your work. As you can see here, I have now gone ahead and I've done 14 wraps on here. On my original piece, it was 19, so I've just done up to 14. Now on the end, on the first end here, I've created a loop and these are our first 10, 10 um, coils. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing on this side. So we'll just move these wires just out of the way and we're going to coil around 10 times. Now what we're going to do is I'll just, oops, I'll just move this out of the way and just keep that down there. We will cut and tidy that up. And then I usually leave about a centimeter for creating my loop. And I'm gonna use my bell making pliers just here. And I'm just gonna pop right into the side there and then just bring my wire right round like so. So as you can see there, we have now got a loop, but obviously we want to kind of have it a little bit better than that. We want, we don't want to pee, we want a nice little kind of lollipop. So I'm gonna pop back in with my round nose pliers and then just bring that back round like so. And as you can see there, we have now got a, a nice straight loop and these are gonna be our connectors for our necklace. So then I'm gonna go ahead and cut the 0.4 wire just there and we can get rid of that and then with these extra bits here all I'm going to do is where the loop is I'm going to just cut off our zigzags and then with your round nose pliers or your bell making pliers you can then coil those back round so you've got one on one side and then one on the other side. So this is now what we are left with. So now it's time to kind of assemble our necklace. So, and just in there, I'm going to create a little V. Now within the kit, you get this beautiful, beautiful, or three beautiful fluorites. I am going to um, use it as a pendant. So again I'm going to take some of my 0.4 wire and we're going to create a wrapped loop. So with your wrapped loop I've got my round nose pliers here or you can use your bell making pliers. I've literally just popped in probably about a centimetre up from the top there and then I'm going to just create a 90 degree angle in my chain nose pliers and hold the loop just at the top there and then we're going to wrap the tail three or four times around the wire and then we can pop on our fluorite and we have our loop on one side so now we're going to do a, a wrap loop on the other side but we're going to have to do this with everything attached so again you're just going to have to try and figure out how much you want your wrap loop to be. So just look on the other side there. And we're kind of going to leave it that way. We don't want it too tight. But there we go. I'm just going to pop that back round. So we've got our 90 degree angle there again. Take out my round nose pliers. Pop in with my chain nose pliers. And then I'm just going to wrap three or four times around there and you've got yourself a little connector. So I'm just gonna pop another jump ring on and then we can pop this onto our, onto our piece, like so. Just pop that on. Pull those together. So now we've got the primary part of our piece. So I'm just gonna show you how to make the chain and then we can pop it all together and we're good to go. So for our chain, is essentially just a mix up of three um, figure of eight chain and then a set of five of our hematite. Okay, so I'm gonna use my bell making pliers again and I'm going to use the smallest mandrel this time. Pop my 
mandrel in, create a loop, bring that back round. So we've got a nice lollipop style shape. And then we're going to add on five of our cubes just to create that lovely little bit of sparkle as our connector. Now you can use these as earrings as well. You could kind of create this um, into a, a bit of a shoulder duster earring if you wanted to take the figure of eight chain and use that like so. So as you can see here, we've got our five on and then I'm going to cut about a centimetre from the last gemstone like so and then pop back in with my with my pliers and bring that round like so and then we've got our loop I'll just tidy that up with my there we go so we've got our our connector and now what we're going to do is we're going to connect it all up together and finish off our piece so here now we have all of our components to finish off the piece we have our two chains I'm just going to add my last piece here to the chains. So we now have our two chains, we have our toggle clasp and we have the pendant, the main pendant. So I'm going to attach from the hematite to the connector point on the first part of the necklace like so. And again we're just going to treat these like um, jump rings, you just want to open them north to south. And then we're going to attach our toggle clasp that actually has a jump ring on it already. So we'll just open that up. And again, this is what I mean, north to south. So we're just going to open that up like so. Pop that onto our end of our chain. Close that up nice and securely. And then we don't need to use a jump ring on, the, on this part because we already have our jump ring there and then we're going to pop that all together so pop your toggle clasp on and here we have our finished piece so we've got all of our components that we've made and they're all together so I hope you enjoyed that demo thank you so much for watching